Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. If you are watching this on YouTube, then you just watched an episode just a couple days ago. If you are one of the people who joined live, which if you want to be one of those people as well, then there is a link in the description to the Twitch channel. Click on the link, click the follow button so you can see when I go live. Because, um, yeah, I am inconsistent as hell and I feel like I have not streamed in about a week, which is no good. But we are here. We are back. We are going to make at least a tiny bit of progress. I don't know how long we'll be on today, but we will be doing our best. Um, there we go. So last we left off, we got on the, um, like the, the ship here and we fought like one battle with Hugh. And now we are going to make our way inside. So this is the stereotypical cliched you know, villain-based part of the game. Except, unlike most games, this takes place towards the end of the game, so this is one of the last things we're actually gonna do. Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage. Because we're super edgy. Well, he's super edgy anyway. It's like, if I'm Sonic, he's Shadow, basically. And I think he's black- oh, he's black and red and we're... blue and white? Like, our shorts are white, maybe? Yeah. Oh, but he has some white on him too, so the shadow colors are a little messed up on him, but close enough. Oh, damn, we leading out with the fire. Which, um, I mean, honestly, I think this is fine. We can just use whatever we want on this, and it's going to do pretty well. I probably should have focused on the Golbat just to help out the Embor, since I believe it's type fighting, or it's part fighting get in that experience because we still want to get everyone to a nice level and god damn that was a crazy crit to start things off with my goodness but ooh, not not the one hit hmm the question now is do we heal or do we switch out and the answer appears to just be heal um we're short 150 so yeah we'll just do this no worries get all our health back hopefully we don't instantly lose it and he didn't attack us so we're good we no longer care what happens he could attack whoever the hell he wants as long as it's not me that's the end of the gold bat so now we'll probably get dunk tank in or something or ponyard i think team plasma likes to use those jesus that poor guy hit with everything Okay, Rapion, um, don't need to use back, we can actually fight again. Um, so, we're gonna punch the Drapion. I'm surprised that I'm actually faster than literally everything else in this battle, so that's what's up. And high crit chance, so I'm not surprised that I got hit with the crit there. And this thing is down. Now, the question is, should I risk targeting the Garbodor since it's the slowest thing here. It... Okay, it does live. Hmm. They have no more, so you know what? The hell with it. Let's get a little risky for no reason. Oh, well, there you go. He, uh, put me at major risk now. Because he decided to heal instead of just attacking, even though we both outspeed this thing, so if I don't one-shot it, which I'm not going to, then... Yeah, if he decides to hit me, I'm down. Thankfully, he didn't hit me, so I no longer care. And anything it throws out is gonna kill it, so I'm just gonna use this. Actually, you know what? Let's not heal, just in case he heals us after the battle for free. So we'll just throw another punch in there. Should have used strength, but whatever. Like I said, I haven't streamed in too long, so I need a mental warm up over here making rash decisions off the bat. And they're trying to protect the switches. And this dude is still looking for this super specific Pokemon like, dude, I don't think your character arc is ever gonna end. Oh damn, he just dipped without even healing the homie? Yo, he sure did. Wow, scumbag. Um. All right, so then I guess we're just healing ourselves. Uh, do, 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 hyper potion, 140, yeah, whatever. 
And it's like when we when we're done here, we can just start spending some some big boy money on more uh, big healing items. Anyway, let me just make sure this thing has the correct item on it. Uh, crap! All right, I should have just like I said, mental warm up here. I should have just went to summary so I could see right away that it's holding a lucky egg, and boom, we're done. Didn't need to try and move it around so I can see like none of that was necessary. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where he went, so I don't know if I should go up. I'm going to assume not because there's nothing here, but I got a revive out of it. So then we're going to try and go down instead, which down there is probably where I want to go. Um, that's not a staircase. There is somebody there, so that might be good. Um, hopefully there are no random battles just on the ship like that. Uh, don't care about retaliate. Can't use the bike, not surprised. Let me just make sure there's nothing on this side. And let's talk to this guy and probably get into a fight. And apparently we're going to just leave him asleep. It's like he might be a bad guy, but we don't want to be rude. Like, okay, for all that, they could have just put some crustal or something in front and blocked it. No need to be suspicious. Yeah, I'm sure. That's what I figured. I wouldn't expect someone from world group bent on world domination to be all that quick on the uptake. Okay, well, if you're really a, a friend, then um, maybe you'll heal me. You move around by using what panel? Look sharp. Okay. Worthless. Also, I like how these people walking back and forth are actively trying to find me. And they didn't just see me talking to one of their friends, so they don't think there's anything suspicious about that. Alright, good. More things that I'm just gonna fire punch. One punch! Every time I see that, I just think of like the uh, first opening from the One Punch Man, like the first season. Alright, not worried about you increasing your attack because strength is just going to kill you before you get to use that increased attack. Done and done. Very good. Alright, so... Now we're going to fight this guy and then I guess that should clear out this room. After the room is cleared out, then we can start doing our... Uh, Scooby-Doo thing and just poking our head in every door and seeing what's there. Oh. Um. Ground dark. Does. Is fire even a good thing to use here? Uh, it's not a bad thing per se. So. Oh, wait, actually. Fire is super. No, it's not fighting us. Alright. Um. Let's use superpower then. That should definitely be the cleanest one hit. And I'm not worried about my attack falling because that's the end of it. Clean, clean, clean. Alright, and one more. I can't remember how to use the war panels. You step on the four switches to remove the barrier. Okay. That... That was incredibly useless information, and you should not have just given it to some random kid you know doesn't belong here. Just because they don't want to give you a Pokemon doesn't mean you need to start leaking data or info or anything. Alright, Garbodor is a poison. Is he pure poison? Probably. Um, so I don't think it really matters too much what I do here. Let's just go for the Flare Blitz for that extra damage, try and get that one shot. Yeah, if you don't hit me, then the only damage I'll take is the recoil. Which is still 54 damage, so that's a pretty big chunk for recoil. Deal with this, and then be sad that I can't sleep in the beds. Because if I could just find the place to heal, you know there's got to be at least one place somewhere. Once I find the place to heal, oof, it's a wrap. I can stop worrying about running out of fire punch. 
even though I feel like we're getting pretty close to the point where we're gonna put Darmanitan in the back and switch our lead anyway. Ooh, that's unfortunate. But not the worst thing in the world. It's like, if we get to 54, then I'll just put him in the back, so... Damn, that was, that was more of a chunk than I expected. Um, definitely gonna superpower this one. This should be the cleanest one hit. If this is a normal dark type, then this should be like times four, I think, right? So, that should definitely be the quickest one kill. And we're a little less than halfway to 54. Yeah, I can't sleep in the beds. Just talk to you just in case you say anything. Alright, um, so let's check out these teleporters then. And see where they lead to. An item? Okay, I don't have a Magmar and I don't have the means to trade, so no evolving Magmar anyway. Nobody used the beds in this room. If you think I'm lying, take a look, then take a rest. Wait, what? I didn't want to leave. But okay, now I know where I am. Alright, so for some reason I couldn't sleep in the other beds, but this bed is A-OK. -okay. That's all I needed. We in there now, boys. Now, we have more battles. Uh, huh. I, it's like so many damn circles. I'm trying to look at the circles and figure out if I can, like, guess what room I teleported to based off of the circles, but... Yeah, I think I'm barking up the wrong tree for that. Crocodile. Alright. Or not, not even Crocodile. Uh, Croc Rock. Not even fully evolved anymore. Either way, you're definitely just gonna get hit with superpower real quick. Clean one hit. No worries. Not worried about any attack drop. Eradicate. Alright, definitely a normal type, so we're just gonna pop this again. Even with the attack drop, we should actually still be able to one-shot. Yep. And attack drop again, but this should be the level up. Yep. Perfect. Overheat, um, I'm pretty sure I don't want this. Yeah, special, I'm good. I'll just keep Fire Blitz, or Flare Blitz rather. We're good. Could give up on that. Yes, I'm very confident with this kind of strength. Now we're going to put this kind of strength somewhere else on the team and put something in front that I'm a little less confident in. Um, I guess what I want to do since, like, I don't know why I stopped at 52 and 53. I kind of want to put them in front and just get them there, so... I think what I'll do is this, and then, oh wait, whoops, I just wanted to switch their items. Uh, can I move them? Does that work? Alright, and then we're gonna give him the Macho Brace back, so his attack will go up again. Thank you. That was a really roundabout way to do that, but we got there eventually. So we're going to get him to 54. And not for now, we might actually be able to do it right here. Depending on how many Pokemon he has on him. If you have two, maybe. If you have three, I think it's a guarantee. As long as... Well, you have one, so it doesn't matter. But as long as Azumarill can actually fight these things, which... Well, I'm pretty confident Azumarill can, can hang. Uh, Aqua Tail... physically physically strong team oh and the crit if there was any doubt all doubts are gone oh look at that just one more battle and zoom we little level up all right let's just see yeah we're still here so gotta be one of these all right congratulations one down three to go Is this going to be another one? Mm, no. Legendary Pokemon, Reshiram. Legend, okay. And Zekrom. Okay. Weird. But oh, sure, why not? Alright. 
I am definitely not sure where the hell I am right now. Like at this point, I would assume I'm in like the bottom left, but that doesn't even matter anymore. I'm just trying to figure out which teleporters lead to the buttons. Um, Scraggy, since this is part fighting, we're definitely going with Aqua Tail instead of Return. It's dark, so it's like super power would be neutral against it, but for the stab, Aqua Tail is obviously the way to go. See, now we're looking at this, I think super power might be more effective. Uh, you're faster, no surprise there. Also, no worry, because you're definitely not strong enough to do any major damage. And let's see if this will be enough. Yep, we good. What a weak Pokemon. Yeah, now see, that might be Hugh's sister's purloin all growed up. All right. Put the Sigilyph here. Switch these items around again. And then give this back the Mystic Water. All right, so now we have three. Half our team is on 54. Sigilyph is going to hit 54 next and then we'll do Flygon and Magnazone and then everyone will be at least 54. And it's like once we hit 56, 58 around there, we're pretty much good to just coast through the rest of the game. And it's like 60 is like the max level we really need to hit. So I think we're pretty good to just stay on par for the rest of the game. Because, of course, we're not just instantly fighting the Elite Four after this battle, so... Um, let's see. Psychic doesn't affect this. And I would assume flying is not good against the steel typing. So... Let's see. Why, hello, sir, to you too. We have Uchiha's in the chat. Alright, that did more than enough. As long as we got the clean two hit, that's all I'm worried about. And the unnecessary special attack buff. Huh, I guess it wasn't unnecessary. I thought he only had one on him. Oh no, this guy has a half a damn team. Alright, cool. Well then the special attack buff was potentially very helpful. Damn, they didn't one shot. Um, right now, literally just doing a normal playthrough. Um, after this normal playthrough, then I plan on doing a Nuzlocke of this game. So this playthrough is kind of just to, you know, re-familiarize myself with the game since I haven't played it since it's like actual release. I don't even know how long ago, eight years, 12 years ago, however long it was. And now, like as far as what we're doing in game, we're currently inside the plasma ship, whatever. So somewhere near the end of the game, it's like we do this, then after this, we're going to leave, go get the legendaries, and then it's Elite Four time. As far as what we're doing today in stream, though, I don't know how long I'll actually be streaming. So probably just finishing off the ship. Speaking of which, what's happening? Okay, they found out about intruders after I done beat up almost everyone here, so a little late for that announcement. Let's see. Oh, that's different. Very different. Um, in that case, it is probably in my best interest to use... Oh, wait. If you're dark dragon, then psychic won't do anything. So let's just air slash and see what that does. Um, my favorite Pokemon. Legendary one, like favorite legendary, I would probably say is Deoxys. And then favorite non-legendary is probably Meowstic. I think that's a, I think I would say so. 
I mean, honestly, I have so many favorites, so the answer kind of oof, depends on when I'm asked, but I think that's probably the most accurate answer. Alright, since we lost the Sigilyph unnecessarily, we'll just switch out to the next person we want to level up anyway. Let's see, what kind of damage are we doing here? Alright, more than enough, especially with the crit. This will do more than enough as well, I'm sure. Especially with that little rocky helmet damage thrown in there. No red health for you. Alright, um, what we need to do right now is actually go find the room that has the bed we can use and go rest. And then let's just go poke our heads into all the rooms to make sure we actually fought everybody. Um, I mean, if you're looking for recommendations, then I'm going to assume you haven't played any of them. So, if you haven't played any, I think just starting with the most recent one is probably a good, like, like I think Sword and Shield on the Switch is probably a good place to start. Um, if you don't have a Switch, then you can, you know, there are ways on the internet, quote unquote, to get the DS games easily enough. So, if you haven't, you know, if you don't have a Switch, then I would say black and white one and then black and white two just because there's some like story beats that are a little more enjoyable if you play the first one first you know if you play them in order i don't know did i fight these people yet i think so damn now i'm hitting that weird point in these uh teleporting areas where i'm just going in complete circles yeah so I already hit that so if I hit these then I'm going to assume the teleporters I need to hit going forward are going to be on the left side so let's see what this one does hmm Alright, what about this one behind you? Alright, one down, one to go. Alright, that was some weird logic that led me to some kind of answer. Um... Hmm. I think this is where I literally just came from, so... I don't think this is the answer I am looking for. Yeah, definitely think I'm going in circles at this point. Hmm. Yeah, that's literally the path I just took. So I need to figure out how in the world I'm going to get to the top left button. It might just be some reverse psychology trick just because I uh, <laughs> had some weird logic doesn't mean it's always gonna work that way uh, and thank you for the follow Luke much appreciated let's try going this way sticking to the right side this time since I feel like I don't hit all of the left and hmm okay Alright, so I think what we're going to have to do now is just do this a little differently. We're going to just go into each room and see. Well, first off, let's just make sure that we're not missing anything obvious. No, okay, I don't think so. So let's just go into each room and use all their teleporters just to make sure. Yep, right away. Top left, top left. Alright, so now we have all of the barriers down. 
and let's just check on our Pokemon here. Everyone is healed up. Everyone is good to go. So I think we can make moves. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. Head back up and before we go through the doors, let's just save real quick. Just in case something crazy happens. Alright, Hugh hasn't popped up yet. I don't know if there's going to be a double battle going on or not, or if this is just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and he's going to have... Do I fight him right away? I don't know. But he knows that we're impressive. And we definitely went through some trouble. And hey, look, it's Kiram, one of the legendaries. The ice missiles we fired were created with its power and their technology. Hey, look, there we go. Even though he's probably going to just fight the grunt and leave the boss to me. We'll simply eliminate both of you. Yeah, you'll try it. And as expected. So I am fighting an ice type with a flying psychic. Um, oh, it is a double battle. Okay. That's a little less concerning. But it doesn't change the fact that he has ice types, which are stronger against my flying type. So not the best matchup going on right now um what i'm gonna do then is let's just fly try and get the hell out of here because i'm not surprised that i am in fact faster than everyone and then wow everyone just avoided everything so no one did anything that turn and now i'm gonna get smacked with an ice beam probably oh interesting I guess he's trying to keep me grounded, hoping I'm too confused to fly again. Damn, they're just targeting the bejesus out of me. And I don't know why this fire type doesn't want to just use flamethrower. But it was a one shot anyway, so I'll be quiet now. I'm about to hit that 53 real quick. Wonderful. Let's use fly again just to get up out of here, assuming... I don't hit myself, very good. Light screen doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure everyone is just using physical attacks right now anyway. And hopefully that's another one shot. Nice. So yeah, ice types are dying while I have a flying type out. I don't need to worry about any of it. Wonderful. The joys of double battles. Alright, one last flying type to deal with. Alright, he healed, and then I'm gonna land, and hopefully I don't get... Oh, I didn't land yet? Wow, the Weavile's even faster than I am. That's bittersweet. Okay. Uh, just so that, uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it didn't even want to attack me, which is cool. Not complaining about that at all. And, wow. I'm really surprised that one shot just literally everything he ever put out. But I'm very glad it did. And also glad that your Pokemon died and not mine. And then you send out a terrible, terrible choice. Alright, and you didn't attack me again? Wonderful. So now we'll just air slash and... Oh, that works too. As long as one of us is faster than you. Alright, Skolipede, so... We can just air slash again. That plus the Skull should be enough to kill it. Definitely. Alright, you put in a lot more work than I expected him to, honestly. And we got $10,000. That'll definitely buy us some potions. It's so icy. What does that mean? 
that Pokemon. It's so icy. <laughs> You're smarter than I expected. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure they already said previously that thing is like minus 50 degrees or something. Like, pretty, pretty easy to make the, that comparison. And you were the one who stole this Pokemon five years ago. That's the only one that my late grandpa caught for my little sister. Oh, backstory. The ship itself is using Kira's power. It'll conquer all of you, Nova. We'll let you take care of them, Shadow Triad. And boom, more ninjas. Ninjas just stayed popping in and teleporting me somewhere else. Alright, so now they're going to head back to the Great Chasm on Route 22, so we need to go back there again. Dun dun dun. Is there more to this cutscene, or are we just teleported back? But what's over there anyway? Well, I'll tell you what's not over there. Sharon, because he's over here. Deep in Route 22, yep. You come too, yeah, I mean, I was already there. It sounded lonely, what a weird thing to say. This dude is just saying some really weird, like, things about Kiram. Anything to add there? Thank you. Like, that was a really long pause. But neither of them is here. Where are the legendary Pokemon recognized as heroes? Alright, well, I don't know where they are exactly, but I suppose we'll find out next time. If you're watching on Twitch, you don't need to go anywhere. We're going to keep on playing. But if you're watching this on YouTube, then we're going to call it here for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe so you see when that goes up. If you don't want to wait for it to go up, you want to watch live, link in the description to the Twitch channel. And you can just click the follow button and figure out every time I go live or find out every time I go live and be notified. Notifications everywhere. Either way, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.